Five in the morning in Chiang Mai CNX, and um, I've been in Thailand for five years. It's time to move on. Hey guys, this is John Mack. Welcome back to Awakening from Ascent. Um, I mentioned last time in the previous video that I'd, I wanted to be doing a more kind of a tech like video. Um, what's in my bag? What kind of tools that I use in the work I, I do when I'm out and about. I think I want to push that forward a little bit. There are some more important topics uh, that I think you should uh, consider paying attention to if you really want to shift into a more positive and uh, safe and secure and meaningful reality. Nice to see that my suitcases are taken care of, especially the monitor, the Apple Studio display. I was really worried about that when we left, but he's doing a good job. 250 baht per suitcase, but um, I think it's worth it, especially for the studio display. Yeah, we just uh, finally boarded the plane from Bangkok, flying with Norse, um, and we're flying premium this time, so it's just a little bit more space. It's pretty nice here. So um, the, uh, I was just notified it's going to be about minus um, seven when we get to Norway. So that's kind of a slight change in temperature. It's about 30 degrees difference. Oh so, yeah. But I'm looking forward to the rough, hard, cold Nordic nature. So if your goal is to have, uh, you know, an exciting, meaningful life, kind of outside of the norms, um, it's now seriously important for you to take control of your reality. Uh, there are certainly some things to pay attention to. And this is what I wanted to talk about in today's video. Also, why I recently moved away from Thailand and uh, went back to Norway for a short trip. Really missed winter and cold and snow and the roughness of the nature in this uh, Nordic country. Uh, it's just, a t it's time to move on and time to change reality. Certainly a fresh um, transition from plus 30 to minus 13 today when we arrived. That's nice. I'm not really putting on anything because I want to get used to the cold and just uh, produce my own heat. Um, so that's usually that's how, the, how it was in in Nora before when I was living here in winter time. I didn't really dress up too much. I wanted to train the body to get used to the cold and the freshness and just produce my own my own heat. Does it feel is it fresh? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. But it also feels nice, but it's really refreshing, like in Switzerland. All right, yeah, we're just hanging out on the airport here at Gardermoen in Norway. It seems like um, the whole uh, luggage system today is just broken down because of people being sick. They don't have the capacity to stuff things on the belt quickly enough. So we're still waiting, hanging out. A little bit worried about my monitor. It should come in special luggage. Uh, let's see. As some of you know, I've been living in Thailand for many years. Um, the last three years, I've been spending time in, in one condo um, in Chiang Mai, up in northern Thailand. I've been in Thailand for five years in total. Um, but uh, the, my girlfriend and I, we last fall, we noticed and we started feeling more and more like the urge and in. We, we kind of got the urge to get out of Thailand and um, we certainly got a great 
need, we could say, in both mind and body to get up to a more Nordic environment. Um, why that is, I don't know, but we, we kind of um, we followed a guidance and we moved and uh, we actually really missed snow. We missed cold weather, freshness, the roughness of the Nordic nature and just uh, smell of pine trees and you know have a campfire or um, a fireplace home somewhere. Yeah, we have arrived in Oslo. Pretty cold, pretty fresh. Um, not crazy, I mean, I'm used to this, but of course it's been a while since I was in minus 13. I have to get used to it again. I'm not used to it anymore. Plus, I don't have my winter stuff here. Oh. But here it's okay. So in my message to the world, I talk a lot about, on this channel and also my website, um, I talk about reality shift, timeline jumps, deeper metaphysical topics, um, deeper personal growth, um, how to become more you know, confident, awake, aware, so that you can navigate life in a completely different way, in a completely different way than especially what most people around you tell you and what the school system I told you. And I know many people out, to you, out there, people like you who may be watching this video now, you are missing like-minded people, more bright minds who think for themselves, kind of just sometimes a lot of people tell, tell me that they miss less stupid people. And it's true, we are in a time where there's this huge split in realities now. The sheep herd is going one way and it's like more awake and aware people, they're taking a different direction. And there's a lot you can read about this, by the way. This is, this is why I talk about reality shifts and timeline jumps, because it's time for you to really make a choice now. Which flock are you going to follow? Um, are you going to follow at all? Or are you going to just set your own destination? Okay, yes, yeah, so we are out and about. Um, gonna rent on a monthly basis the, um, my four wheel drive for the winter here um, with Hyundai Tucson. Because when, with the energetic landscape now changing, it, it's, it may be important for you to actually change location. You could be surprised to find that um, there will just suddenly be a very positive shift in your life when you do that. Especially if you start listening to your intuition, listening to your inner guidance systems. And um, you will suddenly feel that things are starting to loosen up and it's like getting the wind in your back for, for really positive changes in your life. Because the thing is now, with these changes happening, you know, energy waves, you know, sweeping over the planet. We got huge sunstorms. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the Schumann resonance. You can watch my video on that. It's an old video now, but it's, you know, pretty popular video on YouTube about the Schumann resonance. Take a look at that and let me know what you think. But uh, certainly these are the, you know, more physical things you can see and notice with the changes happening right now. So you know, what is the best place for you now? Um, what type of people should you be around? Uh, what type of environment should you be in for the benefit of your positive changes, for your personal and spiritual upgrade? 
and uh, what kind what kind of climate should you be in and um, no I'm not talking just about the weather forecast I'm talking more about you know the energetic landscape where's the best place for you to live now It's not that I missed Norway uh, too much at all. I haven't really missed my country. Um, I have missed, of course, a few individuals in my inner circle and uh, to be with them and visit them. I did spend some time with a few friends, um, visiting uh, one of my past um, Taekwondo friends. I had a client meeting. I also got to spend some time with my lovely sister and brother that I for sure missed because uh, we don't get to see each other too much. We did stay for a short while in my hometown, uh, certainly not a town that I miss or I live in at all. Um, but we stayed there. Uh, one of my closest friends was so lovely to keep an open house for us, so we stayed with him for a short time. For the most part, I just focused on my online business. After that, we basically just packed our things again and we actually drove off up to the mountains to stay in a cabin for some time. I've created for myself. Making sure that I can work from anywhere and um, being a web designer uh, it's easy for me to get set up with my tech stuff and continue working with clients basically from anywhere. So while we are talking about my business and how I work um, I can promise you it's been a, it's been an amazing choice I did many years ago because with the freedom I have with doing my own business um, I can work and live basically anywhere and I know there's a lot of interest for that and um, I just want to announce that I have launched my course platform. I know a lot of people are interested in having this type of freedom. Most likely you have internet access and you have a laptop. Well start copying the work and do the work that I do and that's what I'm teaching now in my new course platform. You can go to my website and there is a free guide on how to start as a web designer the professional way. How to build custom WordPress websites and get well paid for that. And um, with that you will find my course website. If you don't want to sign up as a membership you can go and try my uh, very low priced uh, one hour workshop. That's going to take you through the process of building a WordPress website from, from scratch the professional way. It will teach you how to set up the domain, the hosting install WordPress and set up a site. said in the beginning it's seriously time for you to take charge don't fuck around with reality don't let your future reality and the timeline ahead of you just sporadically and randomly manifest without your consent and control it's time to make choices and uh, it's certainly time to filter your reality decide what you believe in and um, you will certainly see that you will start to clean your reality remove fuss and noise remove people that don't fit you anymore locations um, and start to see a new reality emerge
I do know for a lot of people that have no idea, no clue about any spiritual or metaphysical topics that this sounds like a fantasy. And, you know, that's just how it is. And that's, um, that's fine. It's allowed to be unaware. It's allowed to watch television, read the newspapers and, and stand nicely in line and, and walk along in a flock. Even if it's over the cliff and down into the end of times. Um, and that's been the norm on the planet. But it, you should be aware of and understand that it is shifting right now. We are moving into new times. Um, if you decide to be a follower and just sit in your couch because it's safe and comfy, comfy and, and, and fussy in your butt, uh, you get what you ask for. And um, you will most likely see that there will be friends, f family, you know, uh, people around you that start to fade out of your reality because they have made new choices. They change. They don't fit you in your reality anymore. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Start making some deliberate choices for yourself and for your future reality. If you want to, again, if you want to learn some important steps when it comes to making a reality shift, go to my main website, motioneffect.com, download the reality shift template, take a look at that. And I would also like to hear from you, leave some comments about the experiences or changes you have had, if any, at this time.